Okay. What? What? Different hand, different controller. Hey, welcome back, assassins. Remember to always put on your safety straps for the well-being of your safety. <laughs> for the well-being of your safety, of your TV, your monitor, those around you, any other technology, the tech itself. It's just an all-around good idea. And you can give your hands a little breaky pie. Anyway, where were we? Um, welcome to Medium. Uh, a creative application by uh, the medium team in sight of oculus you can do a bunch of different crazy things here look at this oh my god oh my god you have other tools in your left hand clay paint smooth inflate cut flatten swirl move this is a sculpting application all in one vr application oh my god and then on your right hand you've got this little green button here it controls all of the different options of the tool that you've selected right now so i have clay on and now i'm selecting the options i can turn it into a cube i can turn it into a capsule i can increase the size by here i can erase with it or i can just double tap that green button and it erases all on its own oh my god fancy that yes indeed Ah, uh, what else is there? Oh, color palette right here. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. Oh, no, they're too vibrant. There we go. Oh, yes. Dusty gray and hopelessness. I love it. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do today? I have come into Medium to start the creation of one of my player's characters in... Um, why am I talking like that? One of my player's characters in uh, Dungeons & Dragons. His name is Iso Feldspar. He is an Earth Genasi. Um... And so what that is, is, is it's like, imagine a humanoid with pieces of a selected element sort of flowing inside of him. So if it's an Earth Genasi, imagine, like, harder skin, uh, his veins are, like, coursing with, uh, like, brown, yellow, vibrant, um, elemental energy, his eyes may be a different color. Uh, so what I like to do, at first, is get the block, scale everything down as, though, as small as it can go so I have more detail that way there we go okay and then put on no that's not what I want oh it's been a while what do I do uh, mirror and so mirror did I turn on mirror did I turn on let's go on here mirror is on where is it though whoa what are you okay so it's been a while since I've been in this application where's the origin point of this mirror is it right here? It's kind of odd. Aha! Uh -huh. I found you. Make it a little bit larger, just to help. Okay, so bring this down as much as possible, and we we make it a face. We make it a face. Okay. Uh, there you go. And then you do your. Maybe he's got a beard. Uh, and then his cheeks. This is, I'm telling you, it's going to all come together. Kind of. I'm not the greatest in this application. And see, you can already see the resemblances of a person. And he's got a tongue. And then if you want to erase that ludicrous looking tongue, you just go back. Oh, I was actually proud of that nose. <laughs> Prioritize what you go back on. Okay, so what was I making again? Ah, an Earth so He probably wouldn't have a beard. Uh, I don't think he described him as having a beard. Just gonna go ahead and smooth all this down. Oh, look at that! It's like perfect skin already. Perfect skin already. Um, hmm. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm I'm <laughs> I'm gonna start all over. The head is always the most difficult part. Okay, so here is the starting point. I do usually start off with the nose. It's like a pretty good reference point. He's going to be a cute genasi, so he's not going to have too many pronounced features other than his cuteness. Although I disagree that he he would want his character to be considered cute. Um, okay, Let's smooth this out a little bit so I got a better idea of the shape of his head. Perfect, perfect, kind of. Mm -hmm.
You don't want it to be a Klingon. War of Saturn. Smooth. Thank you for joining me in my creative process for making D and D models. Let's give him a big old brain, big old bushy brain. So the reason I like medium is because I mean, in a three three D creation program, I never would have been able to do something like this before. And if I actually finish this model, I'm happy with it. Um, I can three D print it. Just doing the basic shape of the neck. Yeah, so I can bring it into a 3D printing application, and he can now be a model on my fields of D&D &D battle. Let me close this nose a little more. Cutesy. Oh, that's not cute at all. Give him lips that would most assuredly look more like lips in time. Probably. This is always like a huge wing it process for me. Uh, and they usually turn out alright. It is hot this weekend here in the Bay Area of Southern California. It's actually been hot for quite a while. Now I'm just going to melt his face a little bit. Alright. And then I think you can. Where or, or, is it here? No, is it down? Uh, Increase res. There you go. And so this will essentially take. <laughs> uh, now he'll take uh, more processing power for my system, but uh, I'll be able to do finer details on him. So. Wait. Oh, that was. That fucked everything up. Is that better? There we go. Increase res without moving him. Oh, it's hot. It's hot indeed. There we go, and back to your beautiful eyebrows, I saw Oh yeah, see how much more detail that has become. And so yes, you can see that my process is very rudimentary. Oh no. Oh, there we go. It is so rudimentary and simple what I do. And I'm just, trust me, I'm not happy with this right here. Um, but in time, I will be. Is it like a output level for this? No, average button. Interesting. So here I'm probably going to fast forward some of these processes up for you. Uh, increasing the res definitely made it not smooth as much. Not smooth to my standards. Um, He's got those cute little ears. He's got those cute little ears. Now to start doing some cool stuff. Wait, what? Oh, I need to get out of there. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, wait. Does this met? Ooh, metal or missive? Ah! We'll do a missive. And then for the color, we'll do that color I was telling you about. See, isn't he perfect and created and done already? Ah, uh, just kidding. Uh. There we go. And now I'm going to go back to the first layer. Smooth tool. We need to work on it a little bit more. This is so high res. Jeez. Well, I mean, for like, what I'm used to. The high res is relatively. 
relatively a new feature, sort of, not really, maybe I had it a while ago, but I haven't used it for such a long time. Inflate has two different methods of using it. Most tools have a uh, an alternative function. God, this looks terrible. Uh, and that is to just double tap this. And it'll double tap the green button. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So his eyes need a lot of work. Turn the taper off now, so it can get annoying if you don't want it. <laughs> oh god. Alright, Iso, you are turning into quite the ugly duckling here. to actually increase the res to, to what it is. Ooh. Focus on the easy part. Second. So many controls. Uh. Okay, you know what? I got to decrease the res again. Wait, is that what I'm decreasing the res with? I didn't want to, but okay. I so failed the spa. Wait. Is it still high res? I don't remember. Or I don't know. Oh god. Well, that's disheartening whatever's going on right now. <laughs> what is going on right now? <sighs> Alright. There we go. There's the smaller res in action definitely have a much more pleasing smoothing to it. I know I should probably... Make your neck a bit more shape play. God, this 
program does so much for you. That's not to say that it doesn't take skill. Like, the difference between somebody who has skill in this program and the difference between somebody who doesn't is about the same as in real life uh, art. Real life art. This is real life art. Um, you know what I mean. Out of virtual reality art. And I've seen incredible people do incredible things. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, jeez, K! Still need to make something. Oh! Oh. You're turning into a respectable human being. Mr. Fair I mean, well, not anymore, but you were. You were on the right track. And you are a bar 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 barbarian, so I will leave uh, your nose to be a uh, little fucked up, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, let's see what this looks like. Mouths also are also really hard for me. Nostrils, oh yeah. Actually, God, I fucking love me. Okay, God, now I need to. Maybe I can cut out the mouth of that. Not totally working to my benefit. Ooh, maybe I'll give him teeth. That kind of looks a little bit better, but not anywhere near acceptable. Okay. Well, he definitely looks like an alien. I'd say that is a success. Especially this part. Um, let's cover out the ears a little bit more. Yes, I am whimsical. Maybe even not to my standards. And the cool thing is, I could just carve all this out and make an actual working brain. That's a total lie, but wouldn't it be cool? One day. See, I mean, I think if you fast-forwarded from the beginning to now, you know, you might be only slightly impressed. Oh, God. making minor details that don't even just testing things out right now yes yes become an alien
know what? Mm. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Teeth mode. I always suck at making lips, so I always just make like crazy teeth. All right. Just like mold the mouth around it. Wait, no, I don't want that. Wait, no, there's gotta be okay, and another thing, cool thing is stamps, baby. I'm just gonna use what I think is like the most of a tooth. Uh, I mean you're pretty close. Reset tool. Wait, what? Oh, that is so cool! That took me a little bit too long to understand. It is so, Rummy! Uh, well, that was easy. There we go, and then... Sure is going to turn out awfully. Oh! All right, come on, trust me guys. It's going to it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah, he definitely looks like a meathead Neanderthal fucking alien now, but at least he's got teeth, you know? Hmm. Maybe I turn off mirrors for now. Turn on inflate. Smooth. Smooth that down <laughs> oh my god. It's like he's got cotton balls in his mouth. Looking a little bit better. I'm gonna take out most of your mouth. Yeah.
about to make that tongue, make that tongue come out, come below. No, it's going to be raising a little bit. Oh, oops. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Maybe smoothing will make it look a bit more tolerable. Not inflate! Yes, eat me. Hold on, I take it I work on the inside of your mouth. Oh, it's just. I do for your teeth. Got <sighs> for your molars, your thicker teeth down there. Um, I could use an ear. I could use none of these. Huh. That no. Ooh. Oh, perfect. And then, the, oh, even better. Okay, cool. Monstrous. Oh, no! I'm now flat. Oh, that was. Oh, man. Something is off. top teeth yeah and it's also really cool to see sort of like people's workflow and how they get things done and how they twist things and such I don't even know if this is the right best way to do this but I'm fucking doing it no 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 I'll finally tooth you the old tooth. Ha! <sighs> I'm going to give you guns. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't give you guns. Ha! Huh, I so. Alright, the most mediocre creation in the land. <sighs> oh, you know what? We'll do Capishiru. Oh, I guess I didn't do Capsa. Whatever.
is yeah, thank God. Thank God, Mira is still on. So something that you should understand about this, if you think about picking a medium, is that I wouldn't actually go based off of much that I say because I don't know the like a lot of the proven methods to get a lot of things done. This is literally just me seeing the tools and winging. Them. And that's sort of how I've done it most of the time. Uh, what the fuck happened here? You're a piggy bank man now. Ah! Make up your mind! Okay... Now we'll do... God, his face looks terrible, but... Mm. Ooh, actually... <laughs> make you look so goddamn tired. Gosh darn. Gosh dang. Uh, ah, let's make him brown. Let's make him a brown man. Mm, oh, paint! It's time for that! Mm, or it would be a cooler color. Gray white is Goliath. Rocks brown like a silver. Damascus. No, that'd be a crazy Genasi. bit too poopy. Well, yeah, let's do it. And I mean, when you 3D print it, it's if if you are intend on painting it uh, in the real world, then I wouldn't worry too much about painting it inside of medium. Uh, because the, the color doesn't uh, carry over. If you are familiar with 3D printers. And you are going to have a little bit darker of a lips. You're welcome, I'll give you that sexy. Oh, it looks like you just ate some brownies. Same. How do you look awful? Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn off mirror. Focus on. Hardness. No, I want hardness all the way up for this. Made his lips a bit too chocolate. <laughs> Whatever, he's an Earth Genasi. So he's he can take it. Um. And now hardness, opacity. Really get that poop lip look down. 
Shit. God, you look awful. You look diseased now. <laughs> All right. Uh, I should not be responsible for this, man. Do it even less. God, it still looks overwhelmingly like shit. Just cover that up. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, no, I know what I need to do. Just reverse everything. I'm hoping that it'll give it a nice, like, s some color residue will stick around from the attempt at shading. But really, it'll just be most of it to go away and never come back. Why are you. S why is your color so horrifying? You just don't change, do you? Uh, oof. Oh god, that might be too white. Yeah, most all of me says it's too white, whatever. 
Back into the teeth. You would definitely have some cavities. You can tell how diligent I am too, can't you? We'll make his tongue like red. Isn't that crazy? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, we'll make his tongue like orange red. What does that look like? Okay. Um go now I'm gonna save this even though it's really not worth it's not worth saving clear I so bo 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 Jojo enter <laughs> okay um Uh, yeah, so I'm only making a bust. I don't think my computer can handle making anything more than a bust. Uh, okay. okay. Not the whole program, right? I just exit the whole program! Alright, Sessions. Well, apparently that is our... That is the end of this VR sculpting naked session. Um, as always, until fate next brings us together... And never stop playing video games.